Welcome everybody to my first tutorial video. This is Sneaky Dan from Sneaky Vids and I'm going to do a quick walkthrough on how to download and install uh, mod maps on spin tires. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. Um, let's first go to uh, your browser. So if you want to download a new map, you go to your browser. I use, usually use Google Chrome so we're going to head there first. Um, I would recommend getting a 7-zip, 7-zip, um, all you do is, uh, you can go in Google 7-zip, I will actually include a, um, link in the, uh, video description down below as to where to go to get this, so you just search for it, and I did, and I went, and I found it here, um, and I, um, let me show you the Google results. Um, found it here. You just click on this one. 7-zip. Um, and then you pick. Uh, you download the one for whatever you have. So whether it is Windows or Mac or anything. It tells you all right here. Um, I have 64-bit. So I'd hit the download. And then it would pop up in downloads. And I would. Um, it would uh, download. So. You follow the on-screen instructions on how to download that. It's very simple, very straightforward. You just install it completely, and you can use it to unzip the files because you're going to need to unzip them to um, add them to the Spin Tires game. So let's move on to adding Spin Tires mods, getting or finding them anyways. So I, I just come on to Google Chrome and type in Spin Tires it's probably not going to come up right for you but if it does spin tires maps just gotta type that in and then I usually go to this one spin tires nl it works pretty well and then what you're going to want to do is we're just going to do it as an example so um, I'm just going to pick one that I don't have yet so I don't have salty springs yet so um, you just click on it and it will bring you to the page and then don't click this one because that's an ad scroll all the way to the bottom and it will say level salty spring so you want to click on the blue lettering and sometimes it will pop up another window you just close out of that and there the download is started um, actually got a message from somebody but we'll take care of that after Alright, so it's downloaded. They're usually fairly quick to download. It really depends on your internet speed, but as you saw, it was only 52 megs, so not too bad at all. So you can get out of here, and we're going to go... This is on Windows 10, by the way, so we're going to go to where our downloads are. So I go on the little folder and then go into Downloads, and then it was Salty Springs, so we're going to scroll all the way down until we find that level Salty Springs. So here it is. I'm going to right click on it. Um, you don't want to open it. Um, and I usually use 7-zip. You might be using WinZip. That's fine. You can use that too. Um, so I go into 7-zip and I go into Open Archive. Okay. And then it will bring up this window. Um, double click on that. And see so you have the two files that you need for your map. So I always uh, open up another window, um, just can go into documents, that's fine. And then I have a folder um, already preset for, uh, for spin tires, because you have to go through your files to find it. So you're going to go into, um, let's go back, sorry about that. Let's go back. I'll show you how to get to the folder you need to get into to get into spin tires. Um, we're going to just open up. That's fine. Um, we're going to go to local disk C or whatever your local disk ha happens to be. And then you're going to go to program files um, times 86, I believe. Um, I should probably know. So times 86 and then go to into Steam. And then you want to, it's a long, it's a long thing. Go into Steam and then you go into Steam Apps. And then go into Common. And then scroll down to Spin Tires. 
And then we're going to go into the media, fo media folder. And we're going to go into levels folder since we're going to be adding a level or a map. They're called levels in the game. So this is where you're going to drag this from the earlier screen, from the 7-zip screen, into the folder. So you just highlight, you can click this white space down here and highlight it and drag both of them in there. You can drag them in individually, but, but that's one of the ways, it's the easiest way to do it. So there they are, they're in the folder now. Um, big recommendation is would be to, um, when you're in spin tires, you can actually go back um, from back out of the levels. When you're into spin tires, you can actually um, right click. Um, wait, is it right click? What was it? Um, oh, we gotta go back one more to where it, sp it says spin tires and right click on it and you can go to. Oh, pin to quick access. So if you pin it to quick access, it will show up like it does for me. Sorry, I had a little bit of a brain fart there, but here it is up here. It's on the quick access menu. It's much easier than going through all those steps. So once you get to spin, once you get through all those other steps and you get to spin tires, you can just right click and pin it to the quick access. It's a lot easier to get it from here. All right, moving on. Um, that's that's how you get that. You can just go right in. Um, I want to see if I can find one real quick that's a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to go back in to find a map. I'm just going to get Evans Creek because I know that one is a little bit more complicated. So get Evan, we're getting Evans Creek now. So we're going to go and then like before we're just going to go to um, the bottom and click on that one and then it downloaded and we're gonna go into our oops let's let that download complete first all right it's done so we're gonna go into our downloads again um, if you're already in it you can hit a hit refresh and it will pop up so there it is Evans Creek and then what you're gonna do is like before, you're going to open it up with 7-zip uh, uh, and open archive. And then when you go into this, double click on it a bunch of times, you're going to get all these guys. You want all those guys. So um, before we had, we had just levels and you could put just the level. Oops, sorry. Now you have all these guys. <laughs> Didn't realize we are off screen there. So um, now you have all these guys instead of, um, let me show you that again real quick because it popped up on the wrong screen. So 7-zip, open archive, um, and you're going to have to click on it a bunch of times until media and then it has all these things. Um, you're going to go back into your spin tires folder and from here actually go right into media and then I usually like to have it on list it doesn't really matter but it's easier if it's in a list so uh, from here just go all the way to the end so you have some white space you're gonna drag and drop all of those into the into the spin tires folder not into the levels folder so you're gonna drag these and drop these in the spin tire, well, the spin tires media folder because it will add everything. So you just drag and drop. And if you're like me and you download a bunch of these maps that are like this, that have the different textures and different meshes and whatnot, um, you'll get this pop up. You want to skip those files. So it, it automatically will add the level into there and it will automatically add all the meshes, classes, textures, sounds, photos, videos, all that nonsense over there automatically. So you don't have to worry about all, any of that stuff. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the, in the comment section below. Like, 
or dislike if you would like and uh, definitely hit that subscribe button as it would be super duper amazing once I get to uh, 100 subscribers I can get a special link which would be super duper amazing hopefully this video wasn't too long for everybody hopefully you got your spin tires working with the new maps and whatnot um, I know I tried to try to make this video as short as possible and it was unscripted so uh, I think I did pretty well considering um, it looks like I covered everything I wanted to cover in the video. Um, I will actually be making a link for it on my channel, so if you happen to see this video and then you go watch my channel, Sneaky Vids, on uh, Twitch, um, and uh, you need to see the video for some reason again to um, do anything, you know, to go over it again to make sure you have it right, then feel free and I will give you the link on my channel. Thanks everybody for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed and I hope it works well for everybody and I hope you're able to uh, play with all the nice cool modded maps. I will see you in the next tutorial video. Have a good one.